Okay, for this tutorial, we're going to make a health bar. So we have a basic game setup where I have some enemies going up and down here. And if my player were to hit one, then we'd need some form of health notification. If the player can get through all of them and hit the detonator, then we can escape. And we can go through the uh, crack holes. Excellent. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's open our player. So by double clicking on it, and um, we're going to add in a create event. And inside this create event, we're going to add a variable, which is going to be called HP. And HP is going to be for health points. And um, we're going to assign HP a value of 10. Now I'm going to add in another assigned variable by clicking on the plus. And we're going to say HP max. So this is working out my maximum health points, and I'm also going to set that up to 10. Now the reason we do that is later on when we add the health bar in, we're going to work out the percentage. So I need to know the maximum, and I need to know my current. So this one here, HP, which is set to 10, we're going to take a point off this every time we have a collision. So that's the basis of it. Let's now add in a collision event. So I'm going to click on add event here, and it's going to be a collision with the object enemy. And you can see I've got some code in here already. I'm just going to remove these and then I'll talk you through what it is we need to do. Okay, so the first thing we add in is this here, which is an assigned variable. And we're going to call a HP variable. And we're going to say minus one relative. Now what that does is it takes one point off every time uh, there's a contact between my player and my enemy. Right? Okay, so to see this in action, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add in a, let's break the bottom, it's a debug event, so scroll all the way down to this here, and I'm just going to basically get it to output the HP, right, so it's basically outputting the current health point, so if we click the play, um, what you need to do is keep an eye on this output here, and if I run towards this nasty looking player, and we hit it, oh, there we are. Now we can see there is a bit of a problem. The problem is here that every time it comes into contact, my player's not moving, and obviously the uh, the number is going smaller and smaller and smaller because it's going into the negative figures. So you can see our code is working exactly as it's supposed to, um, but really what we should do is move our player over here, or we could make the transparent player sort of disabled for a bit or whatever. But the easiest thing I'm going to do is just move my player uh, over to the side. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to use a variable. So I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to add one of these things in. These assign variable blocks. And I'm going to say X. And then what we're going to do is X minus 200. So this is going to take 200 off the current position of X. So it's going to move it all the way over, so it's going to take 200 pixels off. So if I just bash into one for a second, bang, you can see that's now put me back up there. And let's just do the same up here, bang, it's... So you can see this is working. Now obviously if we hit the third one here, it's going back. Sorry, this middle one I meant, not the third one. If we hit that one, it's going back. Um, you can see it's, it's obviously hitting 200 pixels back from where that is so you could if you wanted to increase it depending on what you want to do i just wanted to move mine back a little bit now you will notice at the bottom here the output does say zero now the downside is with this we haven't got any mechanism to sort of end the program so what we're going to do is add in a step event now a step event will sort of run every step of the game and we can do a check so if i add in a step and then we'll just say step and let's add in an if statement, which is here on if. So I want to say if the HP is equal to zero, then we need to do something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the game. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and we're going to go to this one here, restart game. Now, that way, if our player, what should happen now is when my health points go down to zero, my player should come back to this location, which is where the game starts. So there we are, that's one, two, three, here we go. Let's now just try and lose as many points as possible. You can see it's, it's a bit of luck. Okay, last one, and you can see there, the whole game then reset, and my player went down to the bottom. So that works well here. So the last thing we need to do now is get some form of health 
pointer. Now we can do this in a few ways. I could, if I wanted to, instead of using a bar, I could use a, a draw GUI event and add in a number on the top here. So we are going to use health box for this tutorial. I've said I want to use health bar. So let's click on add and then let's go down to draw and then draw GUI, which is here. Okay, now quite handily scrolling down, you will see in the sort of brownish here in the drawing, you do have an option here for drawing a health bar. Now if I just hover over it, you can see it says draw a health bar from a 0 to 100 value. In other words, the value's always got to be out of 100. So we are going to use a little formula. So I'm going to say HP divided by HP max. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that by 100. So what this will do is it'll work out a percentage for me. Now I want these to all be relative to my player so that when my player moves it'll follow the player around and we're going to set a size. Now in terms of sizing you're going to have to play around with this because depending on how big or small your player is will depend on how big or small you want your uh, bar. So I'm going to put zero, well, minus 20, uh, we'll go from the top there, we'll try uh, 40. And then from the bottom, we'll also try, in fact, no, I'll probably be negative 40. Uh, from the bottom, then, we'll do uh, minus 20. And then from the right, let's go for uh, 20 as well. Okay. Now, we need a background, an outline, and a min and a max color. Now, my background in my game, if you look, is black. So ideally, I want something that's going to stand out, but not too much. So I'm going to use a lightish gray as my background. The outline I can leave to white, that's fine. My min color, I'm gonna change. So my minimum color is gonna be like a red. So I'm gonna click on my red here and let's go all the way here and let's choose like a darkish color. There you are, click okay. And then let's click the max color. The max color needs to be green. So I'm gonna click on the green here and then we're gonna go with a slightly darker shade there you are, something like that. And then I'm gonna click okay. So let's see now what that is like. Now bearing in mind, I might have to change these variables if I'm not happy. So you can see this health bar is there, but it's not large enough really. So we need to make a few changes. So let's change this from right, uh, let's make that say 40 to see, oops, one good. let's see now what that does. Yeah, well, that's a bit better. So it's made that now a little bit bigger. We can probably go a little bit more as well. So let's double that to 80 and let's see now what our health bar looks like. There you are, that's okay, that's fine. Now probably that is a little bit too big for the size of my player, but we can always scale it down if we need to. So let's see if it actually works. So let's bump into one of these. Okay, so just right there now, which is brilliant, you can see one point has come away and you can see the gray is there. So the gray now is showing that obviously we've lost some points. And then every time we hit, we're obviously losing more. And I don't know if you've just seen that now, which is lovely, it's gone from a green to like an orangey type color so there's a bit of a blend going on here and then there you are now we're in the red oh now we're really we're at that sort of red here because i think we've got one point left and there you are the game now is reset because we've gone back into uh, zero health points so we've now started again so that's really in a nutshell how you create a little health bar with a player and assign it a point score